told you about the surge in the price of potentially life-saving medication known as EpiPens. Well, some parents say they don't know now if they can afford it. Now, some area lawmakers calling for a federal investigation. CBS News Janelle Burrell has more. For people with severe food and insect allergies, EpiPens can be essential. Her eyes swelling shut, her coughing and wheezing and not being able to breathe. And with a 400% increase over the last nine years, some fear the higher cost may result in patients paying the ultimate price, losing their lives. In many families, they can't afford this. And it's price gouging, plain and simple. New Jersey State Senator Richard Cody firing off this letter to U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch, calling for pharmaceutical company Mylan, the maker of EpiPen, to be held accountable, requesting government oversight. In 2007, Mylan charged about $100 for a two pack of the drug, and today those same pens cost about $600, all for a medicine doctors say cost about $2 per dose. I'm not a math major. But that's a hell of an increase uh, for these families and especially for their youngsters as well. Not only that, EpiPens expire and need to be replaced every year. Mylan tells CBS News the price increase reflects a significant investment to support the device over the years, adding that they are determined to find solutions to meet the needs of the patients and the families they serve. With no generic alternative and the only competitor going out of business last year, many parents say they feel helpless. It's not cliche to say that it is, in fact, life and death. Emily Urie's five-year-old daughter, Anna, has a severe sesame allergy, and she says some families are now taking extreme measures to get the drug they now can't afford. We've heard situations where um, people are recommending going to Canada or other countries to purchase the medication. And some families are so desperate, they're going as far as buying expired EpiPens on eBay. Another local lawmaker, Congresswoman Grace Meng of Queens, she is calling for a congressional hearing on the price hike as well. Chris and Mary, these people are determined to get those prices down. Yeah. We hope it gets fixed. Thanks, Thanks Janelle. Janelle.